Devastating and heartbreaking is how a Southern Alberta family describes their battle with a rare genetic disease. Vandy, uh, Randy Van Heerden died from a degenerative disease known as AT when he was just 20 years old. Now Randy's second cousin has been diagnosed with the same condition. Family members say research is the only hope for two-year-old Alex Olive and they're now in a race against time. Terry Boat reports. Uh, Alex Olive is an energetic growing boy who will be two years old next week. Well, Alex has always been, let's get up and go. Nine months of age, he started to just run, like run. There was no crawling, he was just gone. His I'm parents, so Rob and Crystal Olive, say Alex is full of fun, loves to run and draw pictures, but they know it won't always be like this. A few months ago, he was diagnosed with a rare degenerative disease known as AT, a disease that led to the death of Crystal's second cousin, Randy Van Heerden, eight years ago. For the family, the diagnosis was devastating. It was the hardest, hardest moment of my life because I had watched my cousin suffer through this disease and now we're going to do it again. AT is a genetic condition that combines the worst symptoms of muscular dystrophy, cerebral palsy, cystic fibrosis, immune deficiencies and cancer. Most children are confined to a wheelchair by age 10 and often don't survive their teens. It took us four years to diagnose Randy with ataxia telangiectasia. Now for Rob and Crystal it took two days because of knowledge we have and tests that can be done. For the past 14 years, Conrad Van Heerden and his family have worked tirelessly to increase awareness and raise money for AT research, at first in hopes of finding a cure to save Randy, now in an effort to help other families going through this devastating and heartbreaking experience. They're always making progress in different areas. This year they're focusing a little bit more effort into finding a way to slow down the cell death in AT children. And, and strengthen their immune system. I always knew how important the ET Children's Project was, but now it's personal, right? It's my son, it's our son. For me, I want something to help him to be able to be just like everyone else, um, grow up just like everyone else. Family members say one thing AT didn't take from Randy was his spirit, that he was a fun and amazing kid whose motto was never give up. They say as long as the research is being done, there's always hope for children like Alex. Terry Vogt, CTV News, near Fort McLeod. You can support research and learn more about AT at a Rare Disease Day dinner and auction tomorrow evening in Fort McLeod. The event gets underway 6 p.m. in the Trinity United Church Hall. It includes a vid video presentation as well as a buffet dinner and silent auction.